हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम टू आर सीरीज ऑफ मॉड्यूल सिस्टम वेरी लॉक फॉर वेरिफिकेशन इन दिस वीडियो आई विल एक्सप्लेन व्हाट इज अ क्लास हाउ टू क्रिएट क्लासेस एंड व्हाई डू वी नीड क्लास सो लेट्स स्टार्ट विद द डेफिनेशन ऑफ क्लास क्लास इज अ यूजर डिफाइंड डेटा टाइप एंड इट कंसिस्ट ऑफ टू फील्ड फर्स्ट इज डेटा कॉल्ड एज प्रॉपर्टीज सेकेंड इज टास्क और फंक्शन विच इज ऑल्सो कॉल्ड एज मेथड्स and it actually defines the behavior of the class class combines these data properties and methods into a single entity that is class itself now if i explain in layman terms class is like a blueprint or template of the actual object you want to create and now let's take an example of a class house now what properties can a house have it can have the address it can have what how many number of rooms it has how many number of floors it has and what is the color of the house etc etc now in the method field we will define what are functions we want to perform on the class house so what functions can be performed on house we can get the address using get function get underscore address we can clean the house and there can be more other functions like switch on the lights turn off the lights etc etc now let's understand how to create classes so one point to note here is that class can always be defined inside a module or a package that's why here i have defined the class inside a module test i am defining the class house using keyword class now first time de defining the properties field in the properties field i have defined the property address which is of data type n second property is number of rooms which is of data type logic now in the method section i have defined a function get underscore address we are using the dollar display function i am printing the address of the class house i am basically printing this property address now let's come to our next question why do we need classes let's understand with this an example where we have five student each student have two fields roll number and marks so if we want to define these fields in traditional way that is without classes how many variables would we need for five students each containing two fields we would need 10 variables right so suppose if the number of fields is 10 and the number of students is 10 then we will need 100 variables and these variables will increase exponentially as we increase the number of students which is very very cumbersome um so this is one issue with traditional way now let's move to the second issue so here i want to print this roll number 1 inside this function print underscore roll number by directly accessing this module variable roll under roll underscore number 1 now the question comes here is can we do this can we directly access the module variable inside a function the answer is no system verilog does not allow accessing the module variables directly inside a function so the right way to do is creating a function with arguments so here i have created the function print roll number and passing the arguments roll underscore number and while calling the function roll print roll number i can pass these module variables as arguments so now let's understand what are issues we have the, with this traditional way so the first issue is for num as as the number of students increases like the number of objects increases we will have multiple number of variables which makes our code very cumbersome so our code cannot be reused at all now the second issue is uh, we have variables at certain places we have functions at different places which makes the course very unorganized so there is no specific way of structure of defining things now the third issue is in this code it is very difficult to identify issues or bugs and hence it is difficult to fix them as well 
and the last issue is as i explained function cannot access module variables directly now let's understand how can we implement and solve these issues using classes so here first time defining first time defining a class student basically i am just creating the blueprint of this class uh, blueprint of this object student so what all fields we need first time defining the properties that is roll number and name and in the method section i am defining this function print underscore num so here as you can see in this function i can directly access our class property roll underscore num directly now how do we solve the issue of uh, avoiding avoiding multiple variables so unlike traditional way we need not define these variables separately for each student we just have to use this blueprint of student and using this new function we can create objects of this student so i will explain this new function later in more detail but for now you can think it as a function which creates an object whenever whenever it is called so by calling by just calling this new function we can create multiple objects and the important thing to note here is and the important thing to note here is that each object will have their own separate set of data and properties data like roll number and name so we need not to, uh, we, we do not need to uh, define these properties again and again for each object separately so this issue of multiple defining multiple variables is also re resolved in classes now let's see what are, what are the advantages of classes so as we can see our all data that is uh, all data and function associated with student is at one single place which makes our code very well organized this is also called as encapsulation in terms of oops now as we saw that we can create multiple objects for class student which allows us to reuse our class structure so it makes our code uh, reusable now the third advantage is in this code since it is very well organized it is very easy to identify issues or bugs and hence easy to fix them now as we saw that function can directly access the class members directly unlike our traditional way which does not allow our module variables to be accessed directly inside the function now the other advantages are polymorphism and inheritance uh, which we will understand later in more detail now i will i will want uh, you guys to note some important points while creating classes so the first important point is class can only be defined inside a module or package this i explained earlier also so uh, our second point is uh, class objects can be dynamically created and destroyed so class objects can be created during run time also we will understand this in more detail later now moving to the third point we can use any variable or data type for defining as a class property except net types now why not net types because net types are a structural construct that cannot be dynamically allocated and i explained earlier that class objects can be dynamically created so we can only only uh, define those variables inside a class uh, which can be dynamically created now the fourth and the last point is that class cannot contain processes such as initial always and assign etc it can only contain definitions like field data types field data types or variables and function or methods which i explained earlier now let's move to class handle and objects up till now we have learned how to create class which only defines what an object looks like let's learn how to create construct an object so for creating an object two steps two steps are required first is declaration and second is initialization in the declaration step we declare a variable of class type which is also called as handle 
so here i have created a handle s1 of class student now we have just created the handle of the student it does not have any value yet since memory is not yet allocated so for that we will have to create the object or instance of the class using this new constructor now what does this new constructor do it creates object of the class and allocates memory for the same now after creating this object using new we assign it to the handle s1 so handle is just like pointer and it points to the created object don't confuse it with c++ pointer it is different from from that that now let's understand more in layman terms with an example of class house so if class is a blueprint of house then object is the complete house and handle is the address of this house that is the reason uh, while uh, like in the first step when i just declared only the handle of the class student no object was created so whenever no object was uh, whenever no object is created using new function the handle by default points to null that's why in the first case handle s1 is pointing to null first case as in uh, when we created just the handle now these two steps can be combined into a one step where we can declare and initialize at the same time so here i have declared our handle s1 student and in the same uh, in the same step i am creating the object also and assigning it to it in the single statement so that's all for uh, this video uh, thank you everyone